Okay, I thought I'd give an update on my uh, on my rig here, and uh, I'm just gonna kind of target discuss uh, what I've done with the cables. So, what they call cable management uh, on my little Skywatcher Evo Star ADD riding on top of my uh, AVX mount. So, you know, it's always a problem when you have your cables running directly from uh, your devices, like your cameras, uh, or mount directly down, like to trying to hook them up directly to your laptop. Because as you know, when your mount moves, uh, either on the declination or right ascension axis, that it pulls, tightens, yanks out, and you always have to watch your cables uh, as your telescope moves to make sure nothing gets pulled or anything like that and plus also a tripping right so you have your table set up next to your scope with your laptop and uh you know if you walk between it there you got to make sure you don't trip on a cable and pull everything out so um what i did was what probably everyone else does is just look on youtube and see what other people are doing see how they would work for you so this is kind of what uh i came up with um, as the kind of, and I don't have a lot of uh, cables as you can see here, but, um, it does work, does work very well, uh, for me. So if we, uh, let's see, let's go back. So, um, so what I have on here that is cable that I need to manage is my, uh, little guide camera, my ZWO ASI 120mm mini. So that's a good little camera on my uh, 60 millimeter guide scope. So I have that cable. I uh, also have this cable here that's not connected, but this is the USB cable for my uh, Nikon D7100 that I attach uh, to the back. And then I also have a cable here that plugs into the bottom of my um, AVX mount uh, for that. So all of these devices, uh, the camera, the DSLR, the Nikon, and the mount, I have them all go into this little USB hub uh, that I just have quick tied underneath uh, my dovetail uh, on here. And I have them labeled guide camera, DSLR, and mount. Because one of the things you want to do is use the same uh, plug in the same USB port. So here is the USB cable coming off uh, here that I have, and I have two like six foot USB three uh, extension cables that I'll plug in on the tail end of this and then in the end of my laptop. And so that's all that I have as far as USB is this one cable. It can ride down uh, to the ground and uh, not be a trip hazard and only have one. Now this is a powered uh, USB cable. Okay, so <clears throat> it's powered and I wanted to have power because I wanna make sure that there's not gonna be any issues with, uh, with the USB devices on here, uh, not being able to perform at, uh, at, the, at the rates uh, that they need to instead of being just a powerless hub. I think I had one of those uh, before and uh, they just, you know, I didn't know if I had a problem with them. This is what I had purchased before uh, was one of these little square blocks. It's got two on one side and two uh, on the other. And I use that, but that's kind of hard to manage. I just kind of had those down on the ground just as a collector of all these cables Instead of that, I didn't like that there, but I've got these. These are cheap. Everything that came from Amazon. So I got the powered. So this powered actually has four USB ports uh, on the bottom. And it's got a port at the end. And you can use that for charging, even if you wanted to for a phone or whatever with that. And it's got a port on the back side for the power. So the power go to a little power strip. <clears throat> and then on this other side is where the USB cable comes down here that goes to my mount. So that's what I got. This works fantastic because you have all the cables 
on the mount, okay? And they're all tied to the mount, to the scope, to the rail. So when this thing rotates, everything stays together and nothing gets pulled. The only thing you have to worry about is this one here, but if uh, the USB off the hub, but if you got enough slack and it comes down, it's never been a problem. So I got this here. I've seen this used uh, quite a bit. This is kind of like a, a plastic uh, material here. And this is a one inch diameter. I bought the half inch first, but it wasn't really large enough, but it's kind of like pre-rolled. So it kind of wants to roll up uh, on itself there. So you can open it up and put however many cables you want in there. So I've got these two cables in here. It's great because it keeps them together. Uh, with that, and I just put a little uh, quick tie around that just to hold that up because the other thing with cable management is you do not want to have where your cable comes down, have the weight of the cable or anything pulling down uh, on your on any of your connectors, right? Because these are all small connectors. The, you know, even the one for the camera is that little tiny, I guess it's a micro or mini USB, very small on that. So I usually will wrap it around here, the uh, the finder scope base, and plug it in so I don't have any weight on that. But this is a good little addition uh, to just the route cables through to keep it nice and clean and everything. Everything comes out at this end, plugs in. Of course, the USB, those go in. They <clears throat> stay in pretty tight uh, with that. Um, so uh, on the power, remember, this is the power for the USB. Also have the power for uh, the mount. We'll just come right off of there and plug into this. These are the only problem, and I'm sure everybody has this problem, are these little transformers that take that convert to DC. They're kind of bulky and big, right? So when you put it in your power strip, it takes up, you know, maybe two spots. So you don't have a lot if you've got a number of these like this. And the, uh, the the power cable for the mount looks like this also. So I have to put it at the bottom. And that leaves maybe one other one if you have a straight-in plug for your laptop or something else uh, with that. So sometimes you'll see you'll see people with multiple power strips on their leg, you know, and that's the reason why is this crazy thing uh, are so big. But I've got it uh, just quick tied on there, and that holds it uh, on there. Uh, you could use, you know, Velcro strips if you wanted. I just use quick ties because they're cheap and they don't take up a lot of space when you put them on there. And I keep a pair of wire cutters, uh, something you should have in there if you're going to use these in your little toolbox. And that way you can cut them if you need to take it off or move it. I got the the Talent battery. I think this is the 11,000 uh, model here. So I've got that Velcroed with a strap around there. Then I got a ginormous Velcro on the leg that I can push it and that holds it in place. So I can easily go from the 12 volt output directly up here. So I got a short little, you know, 12 inch cable and this mount will run off of that. No problem uh, all night long uh, with that. So there we go. Uh, this is the dew heater wrap here. So my dew heater controller, I have one uh, I made, but I wanted a second one for this because I've got a, uh, an 8SE in one of those tubs that I use for that. But I needed another one for this and it's back ordered from uh, uh, Astronomics. So I'm still waiting for that to come in. I'll, I think it's going on two months now. So, but I've already bought the strap from OPT and it came in and I've got that ready. So that's what this cord is for. So do heater, plug into there, but uh but this is what uh, what I got, a little cable management. It doesn't have to be much if you don't have a lot of equipment. I do imaging, obviously, since I've got that, and I do visual. So uh, the visual, I feel, is just as important, and you should do that than the, um, uh, than the imaging um, with that. So there we go.